block, roll the gas on some gang shit Broke boy spent his last dollar on that lame bitch Bezos on my feet, yeah, watch where you step Bitch, when I point that Ruger, you fuck niggas getting sprayed Hit, pull up on the block, roll the gas on some gang shit Broke boy spent his last dollar on that lame bitch Bezos on my feet, yeah, watch where you step Bitch, when I point that Ruger, you fuck niggas getting sprayed Hit, alright bro, I'm about to pull up Get in the back, back of the back What's up you guys? It's your girl K and you're watching K Minute TV and I'm back with another video. By now this out of this video, we're gonna be doing a get ready with me. I don't know exactly why you guys wanted to get ready with me from me because honestly I'm like the plainest bitch on YouTube when it comes to actually fixing myself up. Uh but y'all said y'all want to see it, but also this could be a video because somebody had commented about um I should do like a wig install video and I did one a long time ago but I didn't even know what the fuck I was doing. So I'm gonna do a wig install um, on one of my babies. She look like shit right now but we gonna get her together, okay? We're gonna get her together. Um, also, I brush my teeth, my face routine, I did all that off camera. If you guys want a face routine, then I definitely can do that for you guys because my skin ain't looking that bad on camera. Y'all can't really see my pimple that's been protruding in my face like fucking crazy. But I said I would take this time to do a get ready with me, you feel me? Also, you know, we can have a little conversation or whatever. Oh, shit. My old stocking cap still in my damn wig. Again, like I said, I'm always apologizing for me distancing myself when it comes to YouTube. But honestly, I want to get in my bag, but it's just like, I don't know. And people keep telling me, you know, your time is coming, your time is coming. Well, it's nice to know that y'all know my time is coming before I actually know that my time is coming. Honestly, I'm just taking it day by day at this point. When God is ready for me to have what you guys think I should have or, you know, whatever I think I should have, I'll get it. But for right now, I'm just chilling, you know, working. Because, like I said, the grind never stops, especially in my real life, you feel what I'm saying? So... The grind never stops, you know. I work two jobs and I do YouTube. I'm trying to get a third job because it's certain things I want by the end of the year. And if I stay dedicated and focused, then I'll get them. But, you know, I've been heavily distracted. And that'd be my problem. I get heavily distracted by little things, you know. It's hard when you have money because me, I want to spend it on food, you know. I put a start putting the glue on so that it can dry. I had to put my stocking cap on off camera because y'all was not finna see my Cleos. Uh, I need my hair rebraided really bad, but I decided in a couple weeks, if that long, I'm gonna get individual box braids for a little bit. Cause honestly, I'm tired of wearing wigs, well the same wigs, and I'm just going to get box braids for a little bit, and then I'll go back to wig routines. Or I'm also thinking about cutting my natural hair because honestly. It's not like I'm bald headed or nothing, but I'm over hair, you know. My natural hair really doesn't sit well with me, you know. It's very hard to maintain. That's why I'm always putting on wigs. But, um, <clears throat> yeah. So, I think I'm going to go to braids. As y'all know, got to be glued, all that. Y'all see the beauty gurus use it on YouTube. Now, I know some of y'all going to be like, you're putting it on your hair. You gonna pull your hair out? I ain't pulled my hair out yet. And it's a certain way you take them off. And I don't like to put so much glue on it because I only need a temporary hold. I'm not looking for something, you know, that's going to stay for like five days. I guess while I wait for my, for up here to dry, I'll start putting on my lashes. Like I said, this is going to be a pretty fast, simple video. It usually takes me about maybe... 10 to 15 minutes at the most to get ready because it really don't take much. I don't really do shit, you know. Don't quote me, but I think I'm going to the tattoo shop this Friday. What's today? Today is the 25th. Yeah, so I'm supposed to be going to the tattoo shop this weekend, this upcoming weekend coming up. I am so fucking excited. I have not gotten a tattoo yet. And PB. You got all these fucking piercings and you ain't getting no tattoo. Nah, bitch, I haven't. The fuck? I don't know if I'm gonna like these. We finna get real close and personal because it's a pack. Let me tell y'all something. I don't really know how to do my eyelashes like that. 
usually I just ask my best friend to help me put them on if she's around or I just struggle you know I'm heavily considering getting eyelash extensions because of the simple fact this is why I need eyelash extensions the thing is let me tell y'all something the reason y'all be seeing my eyelashes they be looking kind of crazy in certain videos is cuz it be looking cool in one video and then the eyelashes start fucking up in the next and I'm not the type I'm not finna try to redo nothing once I've done something and I feel like the content is up to par I don't give a fuck about my appearance y'all gonna see the content you're here to see the content bitch you're not really here to see me now if I go back to voiceovers oh my god you're so lazy all you do is voiceovers cuz my folks was saying like my folks like you know you should show your face and all that First of all, I don't really like showing my face because that means I have to get all dressed up, dolled up, do my hair, put my eyelashes on, put my lip gloss on. I was about to say do my makeup, but I don't really wear makeup. Besides the lipstick and eyelashes, I'm very much of a naturalist. I don't even do my eyebrows no more. Like, I'll get them shaped up or I'll get them waxed every here and there, every like three months but I don't even do my eyebrows no more and maybe I should get back into that now if y'all see me pulling real hard it's because of the simple fact the wig if you don't pull it for real for real it's gonna do whatever the fuck it wants to do so with this wig specifically I like to wait until it's almost the glue is basically almost dry dry before I actually start putting it on my head because when it's almost dry dry it's not really gonna move at all you know so with the pull that I am pulling to get it to the other side so that it can stick the other side really won't move because at this point it's getting locked in you might feel it trying to lift but it's locked in you feel what I'm saying so usually I have that one side that just doesn't want to cooperate and I just hold it. Do you know? Hold on. Do you know this dirty bitch had the nerve to take my do rag and wear it around another bitch? I am one of those females. Don't ever. I don't care if I got you this shit. And if it's definitely mine, don't wear my shit around no other bitch. Giving my shit fucking lice and fucking fleas and ticks and shit. Bitch, don't wear my shit around no other bitch. Had the nerve to be posted up with her. And my fucking do rag. I said, I know that ain't my do rag, bitch. That ain't your do rag. Yes, the fuck it was. Like, I probably had the bitch dirty ass head in it. Because this bitch, she loved my shit. But, anywho, let me wet this wig up. So, as I wait for my wig to dry well, for the glue to really lay onto my head, attach so that it doesn't uh, detach, I'm just going to detangle my wig now also a hair trick when you are detangling your hair you always start from the bottom okay like Drake said y'all I got Disney plus I've been watching that already for the past like two days I wanted to talk about Summer Walker okay let me tell you something Summer Walker is somebody who I have not listened to her music yet the only song that I have heard is the song that be on the radio girls need love too or something like that um i don't want to listen to her music yet because i don't want to just jump on the hype i've said this plenty of times i don't believe in the hype so i like to wait for somebody to die down like even with her if you guys know the r&b artist her everybody was sweating her when she first came out and i was like oh uh, yeah no i'm gonna listen to her when i genuinely want to listen and when i finally started listening to her I was in my sophomore year, second semester of college, and I was like, oh my God, like, I love her. I just feel like me, I had to connect with somebody on my own level, not just, you know, social media's level, because that's what they want you to hear and or listen to. I did watch some of Summer Walker's music, uh, interviews. I watched some of her interviews. I'm like, you know, like, she cool as hell, like, you know, she reminds me of me and I think a lot of people connected with her so well was because they seen a lot of themselves in her 
But it's like as soon as the girl, you know, she started showing timidness, everybody started shunning her, you know. We paid to see her and she didn't really want to interact with us. She was on her phone and all of that. Now, I can understand that from a fan's perspective because, bitch, I didn't pay to watch you sit on your phone, you know. Apparently, her fans were blasting her basically and you're gonna see why i did that her fans were blasting her basically like you know she's tear like basically she basically ran off with their money and gave me half ass so, half ass show now i blame summer to a certain extent because of the simple fact baby girl this is what you signed up for and if you didn't know you figured out when they put you on that stage in one of her interviews she was like they put me on stage if you knew this was not what you wanted to do. You knew that a while ago. So you can't just, you know, and I understand how she's like, you know, I want to quit. Because even with YouTube, like, and I'm not big like that. Like I said, like, I'm very, I'm known, I'm well known. But when it comes to, like, you know, with YouTube, YouTube makes me want to stop. Like, I ain't even going to lie. Some of, like, some of y'all get on my nerves like y'all drain the fuck out of me like i be like i'm you know that's why i don't really upload every single day you know because some of y'all y'all just y'all be rubbing me the wrong way and then like think that it's supposed to be okay and it takes a lot for a person to present themselves to the internet and be openly Ooh, my hair this is what i go through so y'all gonna see all of this, okay? Like go. So it's hard to you know be open. It's hard to be open, you know, when it comes to being on social media because people are so mean. People are mean. They're judging everything that you do. They're marking everything that you say. Like they get paid for. It, you know what I'm saying? And anything that you do can be deemed as wrong in the eyes of social media. I wouldn't say that she doesn't have social anxiety because I think we all kind of do. But I think she has it to a certain extent. You know what I'm saying? And people was like, because it was a video of her dancing on her boyfriend on Facebook. Well, not Facebook, on Instagram. And they were like, but I thought you had social anxiety. Bitch, she not going to have social anxiety with her nigga. Like, her nigga be around her almost all the time. So why would she be nervous around him? Y'all sound dumb. I feel like I am that exact same way. Even at work. I wouldn't call it like anxiety, but when people like stare at me, I feel uncomfortable. I feel like those people might be talking about me. If you look at me for too long, I'm be what the fuck, what the fuck is going on? Like, I really be thinking like, when people look at me too long, I'm be feeling like people be trying to set me up. That's why I was just like, with summer, I definitely understand it's hard, you know, and being a so and being in the public eye. I feel like for summer, she messed up because I feel like she knew that this wasn't going to be something that she would be able to handle and she's been trying to play it off like she can handle it and she can't you know i just feel like summer is one of those people that should just be a lyricist so you write lyrics for other people and you make your own music but you just don't really perform like it's a lot of artists out there that just you know make music because they want to they be people was paid it's people out here that would love an opportunity that summer got and that's true but at least she's stepping out now rather than trying to be something that she knows that she's not, you know, which I want her to do. Keep pretending like, you know, everything cool when it's not. And then her standing in a corner, basically performing her whole set. Like, no, I feel like it's nothing wrong with beginning jitters. But if you can't get out of that as you go through it, then maybe it's just it's not for you. You know what I'm saying? And we all have to have certain things in life that we have to try out just to know if it's for us and performing for summer walker is just not it you know so y'all need to get off her dick and let her be her because at the end of the day she's still gonna get it by any means at a point i was when people was like you know well she's a stripper and how you a stripper and got social anxiety that part i don't understand because it takes a lot of guts to take off your clothes and dance naked in front of a bunch of grown men so i really don't understand that part i can't justify that because i'm just about as clueless as y'all are when it comes to that part but with everything else i think y'all should just chill out on her you know 
But I think we all have those certain people who we feel comfortable around to be ourselves. And I'm talking about with the video of her, like with her ass out. She had on a thong and she was wiping her butt with a receipt or some shit like that. That was some trashy ass shit. I'm not even gonna lie, but maybe she was around her friends and she was just joking around, you know. You know, when y'all with y'all friends, y'all be cutting up and stuff like that. But y'all know, like, y'all wouldn't cut up like that in front of strangers. So, I think with that scenario, she was just around her friends having a good time or whatever. And, yeah, that happened. But we can't hold everything that somebody does against them for their entire life. But if they keep doing the shit over and over again, then, you know, they don't make it really easy not to, but, you know. And, yeah. Y'all gotta chill. We almost done. So I'm just wrapping my look up with the lip liner, the real lip liner that I wanted. I can't find. Fuck all this shit I'm doing. Because me, I'll be like, fuck all this shit, I'm fucking done. But at the same time, like, I know my battles, so I choose my battles pretty wisely. And if I feel like... If I feel like I can't perform, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. And it's just as simple as that. But this is the finished look. I'm not really a big, like we person like oh my god Eric Gate or I am Jonathan like no this is just how I do my shit I'm not telling y'all to do it the way that I do it but this is how I do it this is the finished look of the hair you know this is the end results yes but if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up um if you want that uh what the fuck is that if y'all want my um if y'all want my skincare routine, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. What do you guys think about what I said about Summer Walker? Comment down below. But I just want to say thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure that you comment, like, subscribe, share this video. Tell a friend to tell a friend about more. Turn on your post notifications so that you know when I upload. Also, go follow me on Instagram. We almost hit 6K on Instagram. And I will definitely see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh, shit. Bye. <laughs>